camping because you don't like the idea of sleeping on the ground. Carson is here to take camping to new heights. Or maybe you're like me and you don't like anything about camping. Or like my partner, the same. Right? Because I'm a camper. I yes. love getting in the outdoors and I love doing stuff. No, none no. of that. No, and in fact, most of my family is not camping oriented at all. Yeah. So I'm always looking for ways to overcome some of their objections. And I know you're not a camper either. Nope. So what are the things that you don't like about camping? So I don't like the wetness of it if it rains. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have, you know, a tent that's in water. I don't want to feel cold. I don't want to go without taking a shower. Um, I'm not a fan of bugs. Should I keep going? So, so basically that's the whole camping experience. <laughs> All right, so let's overcome some of your objections right okay. now. Some of the big trends with what you're talking about is getting off the ground. Yes. Now, I love these cocoon. They are so much fun because they elevate you in a way that's never been done before okay? okay you now are in a hammock suspended from the top so you don't have that back arched feeling like you would if you were sleeping in an actual hammock you right. can sleep in this curled into a fetal position all nice and warm but yeah. you're off the ground in a waterproof structure there are actually ways to enclose it as well so you can't bugs don't get in there now this mm. is a double Okay. Although if you and I got in, we might For be snuggling people. in there. <laughs> this one's a single. You're also seeing okay. a lot of this being used in backyards. Just in oh, backyards by I the swimming pool, such a cool lounger, just chill out. Yeah. Because we're seeing more people actually exploring camping in the backyard. For so this sure. is a great way to do it. Okay. So you would be hanging this from a tree then? From a, a tree, sturdy tree branch? Absolutely. I've seen people do a, a board between two trees to create a, a, a support structure. Yeah. Yeah. That actually works really well. You just take a board with you. Okay. Speaking Speaking of boards, okay, I let's want to talk show you this boards. one. What is this, this for? This is such the coolest thing. And this is one of the things that my mom personally hated about camping was she was always the one who slept on the rock. She always oh, said, I got the gosh. one rock in my back yes. and I could never sleep. So this is a little platform that's been built, okay? okay? Now, you're thinking, if I'm going camping, I'm not hauling all this stuff with me, right? Because right. you don't want to build structures. Yeah. But what's really nice about this particular platform is it's built with these. Okay. It's just a little molded system and it clips into a piece of wood like this. Yep. And I'll take that one too. We'll put that on this end. Okay. Now immediately you have a stand. You actually have a base that can stand up. Hopefully it'll fit. It can stand up. There are no screws, no nails on this. Oh, I see. So the whole thing clips together, stands up, it gets you off the ground. Right. So now you could build it big enough for your tent to go on top of it. Got it. You could build it just for your cot to go on top of the tent floor itself. Ah. So you're off the ground. As yeah. soon as you're off the ground, you don't get the cold moisture in your back. Or the wet. Right. And yeah. I've, I've been in that situation where I've actually felt like, you know, it's been cold, it's been tight, it's been, you know, not a spot you want to be in. Okay. That's right. It doesn't so, really make you feel in the mood to like be celebrating. Exactly. When you, can, you feel like you've woken up and there's humidity and moisture all around you, you've taken in all of the wet. Exactly. So sometimes even just being this far off the ground can make a huge difference. Makes a huge difference. And if you use environmentally friendly wood yeah. into the fire when you're done with it, you don't have to take it home Ooh, with you. Very nice. Right? Simple. Oh, so I like that. I should mention the cocoons came from Amazon. Yes. These little clips came from Lee Valley. Okay, okay good. Which is good kind to of know. fun. And so I'm, now can I take a shower? Now you can take a shower. I woke up. I want, I want to bathe. Here's your shower, Tracy. Okay. It's I'll a little open shower. and exposed at the moment. Okay. These sides roll Just down. Just me and the bears. Yeah. These sides roll down. But what's okay. really cool, I'm going to go inside and get it and bring it up for you. This is actually a hot water shower system. So what happens hot is water. you fill this up. Leave it out on a picnic table in the full sun all day. Yes. It actually can get really warm, okay. 85, 90 degrees easily. So you can actually have a warm shower. Now I'm going to get you to turn it on, Tracy, in that little bucket. What That's, do I do? Just this thing? Yeah. Okay. Let's see the water pressure Go. on this. Go. Oh. So you can that. actually. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a reason why this is so important other than the, just the cleanliness factor, okay? Yes. We now know mosquitoes and bugs are attracted to... Smelly people? Body odor. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, so they are. So having a shower after a long day at the camp, you know, you feel better, yeah. but you get less bugs attracted to you over the campfire. Okay. Right? So that's key. So I'm going to put yes. this back up. So let's talk a little bit about some of the bugs, let's too. Let's talk about the bugs. Right. Because, um, you know, short of showering, is there anything else I can do to keep them away? Well, yes. We have two major bugs in North America that people are having the most amount of problems with, okay? Yeah. Mosquitoes mm -hmm. and ticks. Mm -hmm. Ticks are more serious because they're actually spreading Lyme disease. A lot of people are very concerned about it. Yes. I'm going to give you this. Now, I want you to hold that, Tracy. That's just tea tree oil. You can smell it if you want. Okay. 
Yep. Smells fine. If, if it smells very clean. Very clean, a little medicinal. Mm -hmm. You put it in a spray bottle and you spray your pants and your socks with it and your shoes. Okay. okay? Ticks don't like it. They hate the smell of tea tree oil, so they will avoid you. You can spray that safely on your pets. Oh, yeah, that's on the good coats to know. of your pets if you're taking your dogs hiking. Yeah. The ticks will avoid it completely. So just something simple is tea tree oil in water. I like to do 20 to 1. So okay. 20 parts water, one part tea tree oil. Mm -hmm. Smells fine, right? Okay. Very simple. There's not much else you can do for ticks other than to create a barrier. Yeah. Obviously, long pants, socks, those are very important things. But ticks are part of the arachnid family. They're actually oh, they spiders. Are. Yeah, and they, they are on long grass and they wait for something warm-blooded to come by and then they jump off the grass. Okay. So there are not a lot of things you can change about yourself yeah. that will deter ticks, okay? You kind of have to stay away from the areas where they are and cover up as much as you can. But, so Carson, can you spray that on your skin? Absolutely. You so can spray it on anywhere, your skin, like, no on problem. your clothing, yeah. on your shoes? Of course. Yeah. Okay. You'll, sp you'll smell a bit like tea tree oil. That's okay. But it's much healthier than some of the DEET-heavy sprays that you can get That's out there. So right. we're looking for alternatives. This is natural. When it comes to mosquitoes. Yeah. There are some things you can change in your own personal hygiene and your own personal diet to repel mosquitoes, like? which is very exciting. Stop eating bananas. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. They Mos like bananas? Mosquitoes are attracted to people who have high potassium in their blood, so okay. stay away from bananas. Yeah. If you are type O, yes. you are a target. Oh, I'm a typo. Are you? Yeah. So I'm going to sit beside you because I'm not typo, and you're going to be the, the, the bait for the mosquitoes. Okay? I'll take them for so you. So mosquitoes will go after somebody with typo a little more than they will from some of the other oh, blood okay. types. Okay. Also, if you're out exercising, having the shower is a big deal. Yeah. Don't go heavy on the deodorants. Perfumes and deodorants attract mosquitoes. Okay. okay? So these are the things to do. And the one and the worst, the last thing I have to share. Mm -hmm. As soon as you have one beer, mm -hmm. you're 20 times more likely to be attracted to mosquitoes. Oh, they like beer, One do they? beer, yeah. So one okay. beer out in the park, yeah. mosquitoes are going to swarm you, okay? The that more you have, yeah, the more you have, the more they're after you. So avoid the beer. Okay, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I should try this camping thing. <laughs>